All right, so let's record a macro. For starters, on both the program bus and the half ME, you've got uh, a row of key bus buttons and a row of delegate buttons for, for both these buses, also known as the double row of wonderment. What you can think of is the, the delegate row is actually uh, like your destinations, uh, whether it be aux one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, your keyers, if you want to delegate something to a keyer that we'll talk about later. Uh, and then there's the bottom row is the more, you can think of it more as the source row, where you, what source you're going to assign to that destination. So to create a macro, if you look here, you've got, these are your four main keys for creating. You've got your make key right here, your delete key, uh, an insert pause, which you can use at some point, but uh, you, I don't really use it all that often. Uh, and then of course the record, which is very handy, especially for recording. So to create a macro uh, on, this, on this double row of wonderment, I'm going to hit the make button. So that then turns this into all these buttons into macro buttons that I can assign any keystrokes that I want to that I want to record. Remember, it doesn't record it doesn't record the state of a of the entire board uh, unless that state includes an emem. It's just going to record the button that you physically push. Which is another thing. If you are recording a macro and let's say one of the destinations uh, is already recorded, it's already where you want it to go. You still need to physically push that button. It's not going to remember that you pushed that button unless you actually physically push it. One of the ways that we use this a lot is for routing downstage monitors. Matter of fact, to route multiple downstage monitors, you pretty much have to, uh, and it will do this instantaneously. And the way you would do that is, for example, if you recall back over here, uh, aux five, six, and seven are assigned to downstage monitors one, two, and three. So let's say for downstage monitors one, two, and three, we wanted to record a macro that put all, let's say all black in there first. I actually like to do black first, put it on the end. That way I can always grab for it if suddenly we need to go to black down there for whatever reason. So I'm gonna hit this record button right here, hold it down, and I'm going to select, I like to do the very first button, uh, since black is usually right above the black on the program bus anyway. And whenever I hit that, you'll see now that on both of the, uh, of, the, of the delegate and the key bus rows for both the program and the half ME are all flashing. It's saying, okay, what do you want to do? Well, I want uh, aux 5, 6, and 7, which are my downstage monitors, to be black. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to hit 5, and it's showing me what it remembered that 5 is on, which is graphics A, but I want it to be black. So I'm going to hit black, and you'll see DSM uh, 1 go to black. I'm going to hit 6, and then I'm going to hit black, and you'll see DSM-2 go to black. 7, black, now all three DSMs are black. Uh, something to remember while you're, while you're writing these as well is this is going to happen real time. So you can't write these macros for downstage monitors when people are out there looking at them because they'll freak out because you just put their monitors to black and you had no idea. Whenever that's done, hit the flashing make button again and then hit the destination key again and now I have black uh, as that macro uh, and now let me build a couple of other ones so we can go between black and go between some other ones